Hey there, today we are taking a look at the absolute best TVs you can buy in 2018, and you'll be pleased to know not all of them cost an arm and a leg. If excellent picture quality is a priority, these are the best sets out there, and some of them just came out too. So without further ado, here are our top TV picks for 2018. We gotta start with the TCL 6 Series Roku TV. When we first saw this TV at CES, it was an easy call for sleeper hit of the year. You get the 55 inch model for $650 and the 65 inch monster for just 1,000 bucks. That makes this TV the go-to if you want to maximize your price to performance ratio. The local dimming system is impressive for the price. An HDR Pro Gamma automatically adjusts the backlight to match your room's brightness, so it works great in a bright room or a dark room. Outside of picture quality, the 6 Series bakes Roku OS right in for the best smart TV experience available today. Even if you're not on a tight budget, you might find TCL 6 Series offers everything you're looking for in a TV, which would free up some cash to use on a soundbar or surround sound system. Next is the Vizio P-Series. Now, to be clear, this isn't the Vizio P-Series Quantum, which is a slightly more advanced and much more expensive TV. And that's actually why this standard P-Series is on our list. The picture quality is outstanding, even though it doesn't use quantum dots for the most expanded color palette and color volume. This TV has some of the best image quality Vizio has ever produced. In fact, our only real gripe about this TV is that its smart TV interface isn't as advanced as some of the premium competition. But if you don't like it, you'll save so much money with this TV that you'll probably have some spare change to pick up a Roku Streaming Stick Plus or an Amazon Fire TV 4K. The important thing you need to know is that HDR performance, color accuracy out of the box, contrast, peak brightness, it's all far more than you expect for the price and seriously impressive. You're gonna love it and your friends will be jealous. Next up is quite a looker. It's the LG Signature OLED TV W8, also known as the Wallpaper TV. And let's be honest, there's no ignoring the price tag on this television, but when you see it, you'll understand, and you'll probably find yourself desperately trying to justify the purchase. Like last year's W7, most of the W8's components are packed into this included soundbar, which dishes up Dolby Atmos surround sound for maximum audio immersion. Every major HDR format is supported, so the TV is as future-proof as it can be. That's a good thing, since after you buy this, you probably won't be making any other major purchases for quite a while. Next on the list, the Sony Z9F. This is Sony's most over-the-top LED TV ever. We just saw it and we're seriously impressed. As part of Sony's master series, the Z9F aims to deliver as close to what movie and TV creators intended you to see. It's got Sony's most advanced processor ever, which delivers an extremely clean image, the best black levels we've seen from an LED TV so far, and better off-angle viewing than we've seen from any LED TV, like, ever. The only downside is Android TV, which we're not fans of, but we easily forgive Sony for that considering how amazing everything else is about the TV. And besides, that's nothing a Roku or Fire TV stick couldn't fix. Next up, also part of the Master Series, is Sony's A9F Bravia OLED TV. Now, this uses the same OLED panel as LG's OLED TV, so you know right away that the picture quality is gonna be among the best you can get. But Sony's top-notch processing pushes it over the top. Since it's part of the Master Series, you can expect unmatched realism and detail. If best-in-class picture quality was all this TV had to offer, that would be more than enough, but it's just the beginning. Using Sony's acoustic surface technology, the sound actually emanates from the screen, replacing traditional speakers. This means that an already thin TV is is even thinner, and the sound is surprisingly good as well, with a dedicated center channel in the screen and two woofers for deep bass. These TVs are pricier than most of LG's offerings, but if you're all about the look and the sound, they're absolutely worth it. Now we get to Samsung's flagship QLED TV, the Q9F. When Samsung first started talking about how QLED was a serious competitor to OLED, we were skeptical, but those claims now make a lot of sense. Last year's Q9F was one of the best LCD TVs we'd seen until the company released the follow-up, 2018's Q9F. And 
Not only is the HDR picture incredibly vivid with some of the deepest black levels we've seen outside of an OLED display, the off-angle picture, usually a rough spot on LCD TVs, has been improved. Samsung has also boosted the aesthetics by adding a new ambient mode, and the company also bundled the power cable into this one invisible connection cable between the one connect box, that's where you connect everything, and the TV, making a really clean installation a cinch for anyone, not just professional installers. When you combine all of these smart design features with the QLED's excellent picture quality, this is easily the best full-featured LED TV you can buy. And finally, we get to our pick for the best TV this year, LG C8 OLED. LG's entire line of OLED TVs have fantastic picture quality as each of them use the exact same panel. As such, the feature set, available screen sizes, and price are the only real factors to consider. Like last year's C7 series, the new C8 series is the best for our money. The 77-inch model is about $9,000 and that's lofty for most people, but the 65-inch and 55-inch models hit the relative sweet spot at $3,500 and $2,500 respectively. For the investment, you get a sparkling 4K Ultra HD picture with incredible contrast, the latest HDR options including HDR10, Dolby Vision, and Hybrid Log Gamma, and LG's fantastic WebOS interface. There are fancier TVs on our list as you've seen, but the C8 series makes the most sense for most people who want the best picture quality available. That's it for our list of the best TVs you can buy in 2018. Thank you for watching. And hey, if you haven't already done so, click the like and subscribe button down below. While you're here, check out these two videos that we picked especially for you. And as always, we've got more great content at digitaltrends.com. Thanks for watching.